video and in this video today we are diving into a fascinating topic that's crucial in the world of audio and uh, signal processing uh, the notch filter so what exactly is a notch filter well put simply it's a specialized filter used to target and eliminate a specific frequency or range of frequencies from an audio signals while leaving the rest unaffected it's like precision surgery for unwanted noise or interference in your sound you can say imagine uh, you are working on an audio project and uh, there is this annoying hum or buzz at a particular frequency that's ruining the quality that's where a notch filter comes in handy it zeroes in on that a problematic frequency and cuts it out like magic now let's talk about how it's work a notch filter is designed with a narrow bandwidth specifically targeting one frequency it attenuates or reduces the level of that frequency without affecting the surrounding frequencies it's like placing a fence around the unwanted noise and isolating it from the rest of the audio and if we talk about the applications notch filters have a wide range of applications from audio production to telecommun telecommunications they are used to remove unwanted tones interference from power lines or even feedback and uh, live sound steps they are the secret weapon for clean professional sound when using a notch filter it's crucial to identify the exact frequency causing the issue take your time to analyze the audio spectrum and pinpoint the problematic frequency you can say before applying the filter also be conservative with its use to avoid uh, altering the natural sound too much and uh, if, if you can see here that simply it's like the mm, same passive components uh, as we are choosing in the low pass and uh, uh, band pass filters and uh, high pass filter the registers and inductors and uh, capacitors and the even the values for the inductors and capacitors that we discussed in the previous videos are same only the resistors is changed a little bit lower that's uh, in that case is the value for the resistor is 250 ohm now we are using here 100 ohms and if we talk about here the uh, the same uh, uh, sweep time only the minimum frequency is changed to 20 instead of 10 and uh, if you will see here that what we are getting at the output and what is happening at the capacitor and inductors and what's the input basically this is our sweep or time or input or uh, you can say this uh, signal it's look like this with the five volt voltages and uh, here we have the output that you can see is uh, um, uh, removing the noise uh, from these signals in any case where the unwanted signals comes it's remove them and give us a proper signals pure signals without this part is you can say is like a noise and it removes this part and not affect the other frequency range of frequencies and what now what's happening there times on inductor and uh, capacitor you can see here when the capacitor is charged the voltages across the capacitor is high than the input voltages and as you know the inductors limits the current and the voltages almost are same or changes according to the waveforms at the inductor and capacitors at uh, inductors is limiting the current so that's why it's a uh, here uh, there is no change in the voltages here in most of the cases uh, you can see a uh, gradual change or a very little change you know, with respect to the uh, charging and discharging of the capacitor so you can see here the <laughs> configurations of the notch filters and uh, there you have it folks uh, notch filters might seem small but they play a huge role in maintaining clean interference free audio experiment with them in your projects and experience the difference they can make 
and uh, if you require any type of assistance in electrical and electronics projects you can ping me a message on my whatsapp number and you can also visit my upwork and fiber profile and uh, if you found this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching the video